back to my channel. My name is Emily if you're new here. Today I'm going to be recreating some Pinterest hairstyles for the holiday season. First one I'm going to start out with, super simple. I'll just show you. My hair's not super long and I've just curled it with, I think this is like an inch barrel or something like that. My hair doesn't stay super long so I'm going to have to be quick with this video. The curls always fall out like instantly. But I'm going to need a prop for this one. I have a black bow. I also have a few other colours but this looks the most accurate to what she's wearing. So this is just, it's like this soft, it's like a slightly fluffy felty material, it's really nice. And then it's just got like a clasp at the back here. I think I got this from H&M like years ago and it's so nice because every now and again bows come back into fashion so I get to wear it again. So to start with this one, if you don't have little bangs, then maybe like just take two wispy bits that like go down and like curl them specifically. Um, you're also gonna wanna get some bobby pins only to like secure stuff in place. You're gonna get a chunk like about this much. I've only gone to about here with how much I've taken and then pulling it downwards, not up because otherwise it will fall and look weird. Pulling it downwards and then just curling it like this in your fingers. I always curl more than I need. I'm just gonna put that round to the back of my head and then clip it in place for now. If you can, go past the back of your head and then just bobby pin it like that. Uh, we're gonna do the same on the other side. By the way guys, I'm doing Vlogmas all this month so if you're enjoying this video so far, subscribe because I'm doing tutorials, get ready with me, style guys, like all of that all month. So yeah, you might enjoy it. See, this time I'm getting too little hair. I need to go and get like a bigger chunk because you do want it to be like noticeable. It doesn't just, you don't want it to just be like a little tiny bit of hair. This is my first Christmas where I'm getting to like actually dress up a bit for the day because I've never gone to like see family on Christmas, um, but this year I'm going to see like in-laws and stuff. I do actually have to come up with like what to wear. Okay, so it gets slightly tricky, but I've just unpinned them and I've put them together like this and I'm going to tie them in place because I think a hair tie is more reliable than a clip because in my experience those clips always fall out pretty quickly and then you just have to run to the bathroom and keep redoing your hair whereas if you have a little hair tie in there the bow has something to sit on so it takes less pressure off your hair but like loosen that tug it a bit pull some bits out like we don't want it to be perfect and then we're just going to put the clip over the top of where the hairband is there and then that's clipped you're gonna have to imagine that I'm not just wearing a hoodie right now and then I'm wearing like an actually nice outfit so she does have hers like pulling from the ear back like this and then I'm just gonna pull a couple of wispy bits this bit is optional but if you go on Pinterest, there are loads of styles like this that don't have the bits pulled forward, so really don't worry about it. But I chose this girl's hair because it is a similar length and colour to mine, so... But you go on Pinterest and find something specific for you. I feel like this is very, like, innocent girl next door classical Christmas. You can wear this with a jumper or a dress, basically anything. I've worn bows like this to weddings, to coffee meetups, to like literally everything. I would recommend investing in bows, specifically two, a black one and a white one. It just solves everything really. You can get pink one, I have a pink one, but I wear it way less. And in my experience, that particular shade of pink never goes with exactly what I have. I have like, it's slightly darker and more purpley than a baby pink. So I don't wear it. Like it was, I only got it from Primark, so I didn't like, spend too much money but still I feel like a white and a black one just solve all your problems pretty much. Okay so let's move on to the next one. Next I wanted to try this. You guys are gonna have to not judge. I have very thin hair so this could look totally lame but we're gonna do a bunch of back combing and seesaw spraying so hopefully we'll get there but I again need a prop. I'm gonna need some ribbon. I have this red stuff that I got from Tiger. I'm nervous to use it up because once you get to the end of December, ribbon is so hard to find. But it's been staring at me, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for this hairstyle. So this is a basic ponytail. Hers is very, very texturized, so I'm gonna be using this got to be beach mat in my hair. I maybe should have done this before, uh, after I put my hair in the ponytail. We'll see. To be fair, hers isn't like super neat or slicked back or anything. So I'm gonna do a low ponytail with a middle parting, and then she's pulling her bangs to the front. I think this is, this is looking good. There's no tricks to this pony. It doesn't look like she's got anything particularly crazy going on, which makes it easier for us. So then you've got your pony. So the first ribbon goes where you've just put the hairband. I don't know how much I'm gonna cut off here, but if you're working with 
just straight up ribbon, always make sure you cut this bit diagonally, don't cut straight across because it just doesn't look as good. I'm gonna go pretty small for this first one. <laughs> I think that might be way too small. That's one bow in place. I'm gonna pull that back a bit. And then I'm just gonna use hair bands because I genuinely don't think that a satin ribbon is gonna stay exactly where I want it to. So she's got four. If I wanna do one down here, I think I can get away with three on my hair. Again, I'm keeping a bit of texture in my hair just because I don't get much texture naturally. If you have thick hair, you probably don't have to do too much mattifying. I have very thin hair, so I'm always going OTT on it. Okay, this ribbon will be easier. I'm definitely cutting it longer this time, that's for sure. I'm just tying it in a knot first around, covering the hairband, sort of. And then I'm gonna take the shiny side and do that as the outside of the bow, if I'm making any sense, and pull that. See, my ribbon's quite stiff, so that's sticking out at all odd angles. Anyway, that doesn't stop us. Then I'm gonna use this last one. Okay, so reflections are that, if I was gonna do this again, don't use a thick ribbon use a thin one and cut yourself plenty of ribbon. Like you just kind of have to commit to using a lot of ribbon. Oops, I almost forgot. Pull out bits just to make it, um, it's kind of like giving Princess Jasmine vibe. Like this, cut another bit. This one you might want to have longer just so you can have bits trailing down. I think that would be cute. Doing the same thing again. Oops, however you tie a bow, uh, do that because I'm having a real hard time here. My hair's not long enough to be able to see it. Oh my gosh And so I have to look in a mirror which is confusing my brain. Ah Oh my goodness. I feel like a princess Ooh. Guys, I didn't know how bad it looked. Just brush it while you're doing it. Okay. I mean, I'm still feeling it from the front I never want to take this one off. Oh wow. I think this this might be my Christmas Oh my goodness, this is so cute. This is, this was the one I had the lowest expectations for. Amazing. Okay, but without further ado, the last one. I'm gonna keep these ribbons specifically. I mean, in the end, I didn't even use that many, so it's perfect. I'm gonna keep these in my hair drawer so I don't try and wrap a present with them before Christmas. You know what, it didn't take that long. I'm working right up until Christmas. I'm wondering if I should wear these on sex. They're so cute. Okay, this one is gonna involve slightly more technical skill than I think I have. So you're gonna have to see the vision. Oh, look at that. I brushed out that mattifying stuff and all the curl has gone from my hair. I mean, that kind of works because I, this next hairstyle works best with like slick down hair. <sighs> if you're screaming at your screen right now, why did you brush it out? I'm also screaming that at myself in my head. So this one is a lot neater than our last two, so we're gonna get a very straight middle part. Then we're gonna section off a front section of our hair and it has to be long enough that can basically reach, or you have to include hairs in it that will reach the back of your neck so that you can tie it, basically. Okay, can I do this? Yeah. If you guys watched my London vlog, you will have known that I went to London quite recently. Uh, specifically to Winter Wonderland and I've ever since I've been seeing TikToks about how insanely busy London is at the moment and how these are like unprecedented crowds on the tube and blah 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 and I am just so happy that I went early in the year like we went end of November which apparently was perfect like it was mental like by the end of the day, like evening, it was absolutely ridiculous, but better than the videos that I've seen. Okay, so now you have these two awkward bits. You're gonna brush them down. You're gonna gel them if you want, depending on your vibe. But we're we're having a bit of an Ariana Grande moment, but with a middle part. Um, with the hair that you've like pinned back, just pop that into a ponytail quickly to keep it out of the way. Look, this takes a bit of skill and like cognitive abilities. You're gonna smooth it down at the front and then at the back, make sure there's no other hair in it. You're just gonna tie it with a little ponytail tie there. Now, this is where I need to get my roots done. I'm going to get my hair done during Vlogmas and I will be vlogging it as like one of those maintenance days. So you will see this become blonde again. Look at this teeny tiny little tuft. That's so sad. Anyway, so that's all secured in. Take those pins out and then take that bun out and you're gonna get a bit of an interesting hairstyle. So you're gonna end up with this. Now, 
you could just do this and call it a day or put a headband on and call it a day but we're gonna go for a little extra something that i've seen online that i just think is so cute you're gonna take a little chunk you probably want to do it with proper like a proper comb so that it actually looks neat but as long as it's like i don't know neatish and then also guys be careful the direction and then we're gonna plait it but be careful the direction that you plait it in because that will mess it up if you're patting it like upwards when you flop it down it's going to look all strange so you have to be pulling on the direction that you want the plait to be facing once you finish the hairstyle if i'm talking in gaudy you please let me know i'm trying to be clear like i said this is the harder one out of the three i think and it is much more time consuming but if it helps the top of the plait doesn't have to be perfect because you're probably going to either put a headband over it or a hat over it but you're basically going to bring this plait all the way down and then tie it with some more ribbon there is something to be said for having a signature hairstyle but i do really think it's such a great skill to have to be able to style your hair in like cute little hairstyles like these are probably not what you would call like classy and elegant hairstyles but they're just so fun that like I don't know, I just feel like I have to. And also, when you have to style your daughter's hair one day, knowing how to plait really helps. So you should end up with something like that. Now you can, if you want, recurl this bit and then recurl this end bit. I'm not going to because I've already had so much heat damage on my hair already. But I'm gonna go in for the second plait. I will warn you, you need a strong back for this hairstyle. And this is coming from somebody who French plaits their hair every single day. Oh my god. So cute. My second one turned out marginally better than my first. Oh, it just occurred to me, you might... I don't know if you can see the nub, the little nubby. So don't pull all your hair to the front with this hairstyle. Don't forget, you have a nub. All right, I'm gonna get the ribbon and then come back. Okay, this ribbon is only from Hobbycraft. It was super cheap and I was gonna use it for, I think some stitching project I was doing, I don't remember. Oh, this was gonna be to go around the necks of some Easter bunny like little ornaments I was making. So I've cut an extra long bit because I want loads of excess on this. So instead of going around now, I'm gonna go in through one of the loops. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so pull it through, make sure it's even on both sides, and then, you know, adjust it, blah, 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 and then do your little bow. This is why it's kind of crucial that your hair ties the same colour as your hair. Maybe? How are we feeling about this? The bow being shorter does potentially help. Still feel like I look a bit like Bo Peep right now. Dare I say this is not office appropriate hairstyles. Also, you can pro if you have a hair tie small enough, you can do this without the bows. I'm just being extra. What? Okay, then we're doing another boo. Okay, listen. It's cute. But could I ever wear this one anywhere? I don't think so. I have to take the ribbons out. They look too silly. But the rest of this hairstyle, I mean, 10 out of 10. I have no issues with it. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit spindly. Definitely not like a quick, easy to go hairstyle. But nonetheless it's cute oh you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope these hair tutorials were useful for you if they were remember to subscribe because i put out content like this all the time otherwise you guys i'll see you tomorrow bye